An intelligent person is someone who asks questions. If you only let someone tell you something and you don't question it, well, you might as well join a cult. Screens are everywhere. Whether it's your phone, it's your iPod, it's your TV, in grocery store lines, in airports, in our homes. They are encoded with meanings, and it's important that we interpret and understand those meanings. Every tiny detail is perfectly crafted to convey a very specific message. Think about these strategies, these tiny little choices. You're being told what to think. So you better know when you're being manipulated, when you're being taken, and why you shouldn't be. What is critical studies? We're the division of scholars who look analytically, historically, and critically at all forms of moving image media. We study Grey's Anatomy, we study American Idol, we study silent films, avant-garde films, blockbuster films. Just this fall, we're offering in critical studies 33 courses. 33 courses. No other university does that. The black exploitation era focusing on the 1970s. Gender, sexuality, and media. Suspense. The so YouTube, the 1950s. Science, new media. media. Film, the survey the of television. Film, television. Latin Korean and Japanese, Japanese. We don't just accept the face value of the media, but want to go below its surface. We look at things like, why do we see what we see on TV? CBS Sports airs all the PGA tours, so what do they do? On 60 Minutes, they highlight Tiger Woods. Students need that grasp of the history, the economics, and the relationships between these different media if they're going to be smart about media in the future and if they're going to work in media in the future. Since I was a kid, movies turned me on. It's as simple as that. You know, you watch somebody's mind and heart there and you explore that mind and heart, and you explore it with other people, and you get another person's take on it, and your take, and their take is not your take. This is the way we grow. One of the unique things about critical studies in the context of USC is our students have constant contact with production students, writing students, producing students, interactive media students. They all are in the same mode of learning about, thinking about, and making all forms of media. After taking my first critical studies class here, I started to view films not only for their entertainment value. I think it's made me more of an aware viewer of not only films, but television, um, even YouTube videos. The media is a world where history repeats itself. Some of the most popular films on YouTube are really recreations of old vaudeville gags that you find in some of the earliest films ever made. I came to the Critical Studies Department because of its long history of film and media studies, as well as its location in Los Angeles. The school attracts amazing guest speakers that we can dialogue with to understand the inside process of making a TV show or a movie. As a PhD candidate, I teach and I write and research. I've not only had the opportunity to apply to and attend numerous conferences, but I've also had the opportunity to be published. Came to the Critical Studies Department, I guess primarily because of the faculty. You know, in a minute I'm going to show a feminist fiction film about Chicano heavy metal fans in Texas. And Mike Tyson's story is very much tied to the emergence of hip-hop culture. I pride myself on teaching courses that are about more than whatever the subject itself may say. So if you take my hip-hop class, you're not just going to learn about hip-hop, you're gonna learn about American history over the last 40 years. Our faculty in critical studies is a very diverse group of people. Diverse in the sense of different perspectives. I think it's always better when people have a choice. After a critical studies degree, we have our students going into all sorts of things. When you pursue a PhD in the humanities, it's really a certification to teach. Obviously, if you're getting a bachelor's in critical studies, you might think about some kind of work within the industry. Some of them write, some of them are critics. Some make movies, some become executives, um, some go to law school. So many options, you know, so many avenues you could take. There's no such thing as wasted knowledge. That doesn't exist. How you go out and apply it, that's up to you.